Well, New South Wales Labor leader Chris Minns is campaigning in the seat of Oatley, South Sydney, after launching Labor's campaign bus earlier this morning. Kenny Heatley is there for us. Kenny, we were waiting for one of these street walks, as they describe. There you are. I can see you're on the move. What's yes. happening? <laughs> yes, a bit of chasing around, but here we are in the suburb of Riverwood. It's in the seat of Oatley, uh, which is held on a Liberal margin at the moment of 7.5%. There's the Labor leader right there, just having a chat to people, business owners. He was in a grocery before, buying a few things. I think he bought some garlic. Not sure. It was, it was a tight squeeze in there. I couldn't get in. Uh, but uh, he came on the Labor bus, which was launched a short time ago, earlier this morning, in another suburb in the southwest of Sydney, and then they drove it from where they launched it over to here. It's a fully electric bus, and it takes three hours to charge, has a range of 300 kilometres. But I was speaking to the owner of the company that makes the bus, and they don't have charges outside of Sydney. So... No long-term trips into regional New South Wales for the Labor bus as we continue to chase the Labor leader around as, we, as he continues to negotiate traffic and, uh, and meet locals. Now, the seat of Oatley is one that Labor is really targeting. Labor leader Chris Minns has been out here several times and he's campaigning, as you can see, in the green jacket. Ash Amby Hyper, her, she is a Labor candidate for Oatley and Oatley is on the boundary border with Cogra, Chris Min's seat, which is sitting on a hyper-thin margin of 0.1%. So does this mean mm. that he thinks that he can really target this seat and flip it, or is he worried about losing his own seat of Cogra? The Labor launch was held down here as well. We're in a pharmacy right yeah. now, so this is pretty standard, and it's going to be ramping up <laughs> for both leaders, these, these meets and greets yes. in the next uh, 12 days. Kenny, what's your, what's your best... Um, I suppose, perception of how the Labor leader is being received. And I know this is always a bit dangerous and anecdotal. Well, let's, let's, let's ask him right now. Let's ask him right yeah. now. Chris, how are you being received in the seat of Oatley? Well, I grew up in the seat of Oatley in the suburb of Pensa, so I know these streets really well. But two weeks to go, it's a lot of enthusiasm. We've just got to keep going. And, and the Labor bus, how was that? You took your first trip on it? It was good. Fully no, electric? No hop-ons, so that's a plus. But it was good fun. <laughs> Thank you, mate. So there we have it. So he's been received quite well down here, apparently. But uh, this is where mm. he's going to be campaigning hard because the seat of Oatley, where we are at the moment, if you're up and watching Sky News coverage on election night where we're counting the votes here, the seat of Oatley, if you're seeing that Labor is in front in this particular seat, then that means that Labor could be on track for a majority. So this is going to be going on for the next 15 minutes or so, and uh, mm. here we are campaigning in the south of Sydney. Tom. All right, Kenny, um, we'll let you chase him, but I'll just ask you this quickly. Um, when I was talking about that perception of, of Chris Minns, because you do get situations where you have extremely popular leaders and you sort of think, wow, they're going to sweep all before them. That, that might have been like a Peter Malinowskis. It seems that Chris Minns, there's a bit of unrest in the electorate about Dominic Perrottet, but it's not sort of Chris, um, I should say, uh, Scott Morrison levels. How have you perceived his reception there amongst voters when he has had those, you know, occasional um, unscripted moments that we see in such things as the street walk? No hostilities. And it was interesting you mentioned, you know, uh, Dominic Perrottet and how he's, he's perceived. Well, we had the Liberal launch yesterday and John Howard was there, but in terms of Scott Morrison, Tony Abbott... Peter Dutton, you know, no, no one else was there. And so Dominic Perrottet is really trying to distance himself from there. At the Labor launch, which was down here in Hurstville, which is a suburb just bordering, um, Anthony Albanese showed up for Chris Minns. So here is the Labor leader right now. He's behind the counter meeting some people. Actually, I had a coffee from here earlier. They do make fairly good coffee. I'm going to go in the staff-only section to see if we can see what's going on. Let's just listen in briefly. We'll have, we'll have to try something. Yeah, deal. All right. OK. Um, but in terms of, you know, the election night, as I was mentioning, this seat is going to be a real focus. And, you know, I don't think we're going to be getting out of Western Sydney. What I'm hearing is, is the real focus is West and South West Sydney. And I don't think there's going to be many trips into regional New South Wales. They're really viewing these types of seats as the battlegrounds and the must-wins, and so this is where the focus is going to be.